Hi guys, it's MLC here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building a community lot and this time it is going to be a cafe build. And this build is pretty simple considering I think that it's an art deco style. I really wanted to try this style because it's something I've never done before and I wanted to attempt it. I don't know if the interior is necessarily art deco, but the exterior I think kind of is. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I was looking at a lot of reference pictures on Pinterest and I tried my best. So hopefully you guys will like it, but um, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think. So I actually built this, um, I think back in, like October, it's been a while. And I was originally going to build this for my save file, but for my save, I really wanted to do a cafe that was part of a like vegetarian restaurant and maybe a yoga studio. Cause I felt like that was very LA, like all of the upcoming stars or even maybe some of the stars would go there and get personal training in their yoga classes, like take hot yoga. And oh my God, if we had like tanning booths, that would be perfect. And maybe I could attach like a hair salon, but this lot is um, pretty small. I think it's a 20 by 20. And so I just built this and then I decided not to share it for some reason. I mean, I have the footage, I've saved the footage, obviously, that's why I'm able to share it now. And yeah, I don't know why I didn't really share it. I guess I didn't like it that much for whatever reason at the moment, but I was looking back through all of my recordings and I don't know, I really like it. I think it's pretty cute. It's very simple, um, not exterior wise. I think the exterior is kind of unique and I added little bits of detail to try to give it that like art deco look, but the interior is more simple than I would want, at least for my save file. I just find it a bit boring that it's only one purpose because if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you probably do know that I do tend to like community lots, multi-purposeful. I mean, this lot is really small, so it's not like I can do like a giant complex with like, you know, six different types of stores or different community lots because even though we don't have functional multi-community lots. I don't know exactly how you would describe that, but basically what I would love to have in the game is if you could build a building or a room and then designate, like click on it and then designate it to a specific venue, that would be so cool. Like residential, cafe, library, gym, like just mesh them all together. That would be super cool. But in the game, I think it's still kind of functional because you can hire different people. Like you can hire a barista if you're at a cafe, at a cafe lot if you're at a library lot or i think um a few different ones work as well like a restaurant um i think you can hire a barista there's a few different ones i wish they just came automatically when you place the barista bar on a community lot but if you do place the bar a lot on a restaurant lot they do come automatically which is really nice and you can hire a yoga instructor too if you place the instructor's mat so, I mean, there's ways around it, but you can also just switch the lot type when you're there. I think the only one that you can't edit is a retail store. I think that one just has to remain a retail store. Even if you turn on the enable free build, I believe you can't edit it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I've ran into that problem a couple of times. But if you're on a gym lot, let's say, and you're using it as a gym, but you want it to be a nightclub <laughs> maybe it's attached to a nightclub um if you wanted to change it to that all you'd have to do is go to the top left hand corner and hit that little that little icon and it brings down the drop down menu where you can edit the lot traits and then also the lot type and you can just switch the lot type while you're while you're currently on the lot and then you can kind of change it to suit your purposes so i just really prefer to do it that way that way you get more use out of a particular lot because I feel like even though there's quite a few lots in game, most of them do end up being residential. Like you end up feeling like, I don't know, like two or three quarters of the world with like houses for families. And then maybe only a quarter of it ends up being community lots. So I feel like there's never really enough, but when you visit, like there's loading screens. So when you visit somewhere, you kind of want to make, make it worth your time. And so that's just the way I see it. So I just felt like this was a bit simple in that regard. <laughs> so um, now that I fully explained myself, hopefully that all made sense. It is a bit early, so 
I have had coffee, but I don't feel like my brain is fully awake. So forgive me if I am not making sense, but I think I am. But either way, um, yeah, this build ends up being two story, as you can probably tell. I did kind of this interesting thing on the interior where I left the balcony open to the downstairs and you can see the barista bar. And then also there's these cabinets where I put a few decorations on top of it, which I thought was really pretty. But I also wanted this building to feel like a lot of stars had been here in the past, like from like old Hollywood or Simwood, whatever you would call that. I don't think Simwood is a thing, but whatever the Sims version of Hollywood would be, like the old stars have gone here and their pictures are up on the wall. Like every time somebody comes in, they take a picture of them or for whatever reason, they have their headshots with them and they're given to them. So I have a couple of those types of things in there, but also um, I did some movie posters and I did this cool trick that I figured out, um, that was a while ago too, when I built my Magnolia Complex, my movie theater, I figured out that you can merge the posters with these base game paintings and it actually frames them to look like, well, to make it look like they have a different frame rather than just the simple ones. So you'll see that when we go on to the interior. So I thought that looked really nice. And yeah, I just thought that maybe those were movies that were either filmed somewhere around here or maybe in this cafe too. I mean, I don't know if they would necessarily film here in this cafe with all of those movies, but maybe just films that were filmed locally or something like that. So I thought that was kind of a nice idea. And then other than that, I, of course, tried to add decorations that I felt looked Art Deco. <laughs> Mostly that's here on the exterior. And I went for a very blue and white color scheme because I thought that was kind of nice. I think I was inspired by the bushes that I used and I thought it kind of looked nice with just like the stark whiteness of the building. I think in Art Deco normally you would probably use a bit more black maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong because like I said, I don't really know. I'm not really an expert or have any knowledge on it, but from what I could tell from looking at pictures and stuff, I feel like they do use a lot of like that checkered, not necessarily checkered, but like that marble flooring where you have like the black and the white marble. Maybe I should have used that, but either way I didn't. But here you can see I am working out the floor plan and figuring out how I wanted to have the stairs and I wanted to have an open balcony obviously like I mentioned and I thought that was a really cool feature because when you're upstairs you could look down on whoever's making coffee so that's pretty cool and I also end up going into the debug menu and pulling out some of the walk of fame stars and I put them along the walkway here in front of the bathroom so I thought that was pretty cool but the bathroom's the first area that I decorate and it kind of spurs on the whole style for the build I think the bathrooms are really nice and I love the blue and the white I think it's super cute and in this middle area I do switch out the wallpaper to be one of those newer ones that we got with an update I think around the time that I built this but you'll see me change that here in just a little while and I thought that looked pretty nice too so I think it was new at the time, so I definitely wanted to use it. And I also think the configurable stairs were pretty new at the time too. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, I'm not exactly sure. All of the updates and packs and like releases, everything kind of gets jumbled into, into one. And I have no idea what any of them happen <laughs> unless they were like really recent, like uh, Discover University or Tiny Living, obviously, but yeah anyways so here you can see i'm going through the wallpaper i go with this one it doesn't necessarily match maybe i mean it kind of does because i feel like the cream color matches the doors and the brick that i used on the exterior and then the white and the blue i think it works so i'm happy with my decision um here i did decide that i wanted the wall to go all the way up and then i'm just kind of framing it in with some columns this was before we had the column update where we can drag the columns basically up as high as we would like. So you won't see that here. Maybe I will fix that before uploading it to the gallery. I think I can do that because the columns on the lower level for that wall that I put on the stairs, I think there's a weird kind of overlap where the columns meet. Like they don't necessarily meet and line up. I think they're like offset from one another. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see it here in the video, but I think when I add these second ones up here, I think they look a little bit weird. So if I can fix that, I definitely will. Um, I end up actually placing this painting at the very top 
well, it's actually like a collage of paintings, but I place it at the very top there. And it's like the, all these old like black and white photos. This one right here, I thought these were like perfect for headshots. So I was really excited to use that. And other than that, I do go through and I find some clutter items and I use some from the debug menu, like some coffee cups and little creamer cups and bags of coffee and stuff. I think at this point, I hadn't realized how many things from the debug menu I could actually use that wouldn't spoil. And so I could have used those tiny little like cappuccino cups or I'm sure there's something else I could have used too, but I still think it looks really nice. And I go with these um, tables from Dine Out. I really liked that they were the bar height and I thought these bar stools were kind of art deco-ish maybe hopefully <laughs> at least that's what i was thinking and so i thought those looked nice and then of course i hung up a um menu or a chalkboard menu i think that's what you call it and then here i'm just adding those debug objects and then i decorate the counters and yeah it's pretty self-explanatory and i think it looks really nice i also really liked hanging up those wall decorations where you can see the there's like the french press and the little teapot or little coffee pot thing i thought that looked really cute most of the coffee shop decorations i believe all came from get together so if you're wondering how do you get a coffee shop in your game get together is where we got them i definitely recommend get together for that feature alone <laughs> i really like having the ability to have cafes in my build i don't really use whenever i've played i don't think i've ever really used the club system too much and i feel like that's probably a bit of a shame I probably should use them more if I ever do play it <laughs> I want to play in my save file I think that would be kind of nice just to take some time and actually play it because I've been playing it a little bit going through different things and making sure that it's ready to share with you guys which will be up soon it is taking me some time like the past four days I've literally been doing stuff non-stop for it <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous but um yeah, I feel like the club system is definitely something I need to take advantage of so I mean that's probably something worth it too but I mean, I like the cafes and I put them everywhere basically, like in libraries and um, even like gyms and stuff too. But either way, um, speaking of my Seifa, I will include clubs later on. All of the things that I've been doing recently have taken up a lot more time than I had thought. So there'll be a few things that won't be as complete. I mean, obviously all the builds aren't there, so it's not a complete save file to begin with. So it's not that big of a deal, but I will add clubs at some point during a release. I'm not sure if it'll be like the next release or further down the line, but this point won't have probably any of the clubs, maybe like a bowling club or something because I do have a particular sim that's from Oasis Springs that I imagine to be a leader of a bowling league. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> here you can see, I'm just adding some more decorations on the interior and just finding some paintings. I kind of struggled with this part the most, trying to not repeat myself with artwork or make it look like it belongs. I do actually go into my library here in just a little while and I pull out some rooms of some pictures that I took a long time ago and I found a couple of pictures that sort of look like headshots. So you'll see that here in just a second because I wasn't really liking the vintage glamour paintings that I put on either side of the bathroom doors. I mean, I liked them Mostly downstairs I liked them, but I think I had to size them down a little bit to put them next to the bathroom. And anytime you size down those like really flat paintings, it makes them look even flatter. Like maybe I didn't have to size them down. I'm not sure, but either way, they just look so flat and right there they were just kind of bothering me. So I decided to replace them, but you'll see that here in just a little while. And right now I am just decorating the top of the cabinets. So I thought this would be kind of a fun feature. I'm not sure how all of these things got here. I think it'd be kind of difficult to place decorations on top of these cabinets, but um, I still thought it was kind of a fun idea and I cluttered it up quite a bit, but I decided that it looked too cluttery for the build. So I do end up deleting a few things. And I think that was a good decision because yeah, I don't know, maybe if I was going for like a different like style, especially once I placed that clutter item that has the succulents and the books that looked a little bit bohemian to me and I felt like it was kind of clashing with the entire build. So yeah, I thought it was better just to keep it a bit simpler. And then here I'm just messing with the Walk of Fame. I guess you take the Walk of Fame on your way to the bathroom or on either side of the balcony, I don't know. I thought it was kind of a fun feature too. I did want to use them in other places of the build, but I think they sized up way too big to fit them. I think 
behind the barista bar is where I wanted to place one too. Maybe I could have done like two of them next to each other. That probably could have looked pretty cool, but I thought it was a pretty cool feature considering that a lot of stars had probably been here over the years. And yeah, so I definitely like that. I also decided that this would be a pet friendly cafe. So I put a couple of food bowls around. I figured more dog friendly. I think I gave it that lot feature or lot trait, I mean, but um, yeah, I thought that was kind of a nice idea to be able to bring your dog to this cafe because I went somewhere, I think it was actually in San Diego and it was a dog friendly cafe. It was nothing like this one. It was more kind of hipster industrial but they had like dog food bowls around and there's people out for their morning walks or jogs and they brought their dogs in there and I thought that was so cool. I love dog friendly like restaurants and bars and cafes. I think it's such a cool idea. I used to live around the corner from a bar that was like walking distance from our house and we could take our dog there and it was so nice because they had all these games and it was just, it was so much fun to be able to walk there with her. I think that's the only place I've lived close to that allowed pets. <laughs> but yeah, that bar was so cool. I loved it a lot. Um, but here you can see I did go into my library and pull out some pictures. And I thought about putting one down by the barista bar, but it didn't look quite right to me. And I was gonna find some more, but I didn't really have too many that I thought necessarily looked like headshots. So the ones that I end up keeping next to the bathroom, I thought looked the most like headshots. Maybe if I was to make them black and white, they would look a little bit more. I did have some black and white pictures that you probably just saw there for a moment. I took those as like fashion pictures a long time ago too, but I thought these ones actually looked really nice. So I left them and I think this is basically it for the build. I'm just adding some lights on the exterior and then we're going to be going onto the screenshot. So thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. So we're free and never get old. Such a fine place to be. It's finally getting clear to me. There's nothing I can do without you.